ribs. Locked away in some forgotten vault in Hollywood, Greta Garbo survives consumption, oncoming trains, firing squads, every time. I still want to believe in the existence of an alternate grid. I still want to believe that somewhere, somehow, there's a happy ending for every story. It all depends on how thoroughly you look for it, how deeply you need it. The baby was found in a waste paper basket with the umbilical cord knotted around its neck. The mother was discovered unconscious by the door to her room, suffering from excessive loss of blood. She was indicted for manslaughter and brought to trial. Her case was assigned to me, Dr. Martha Livingston, as court psychiatrist to determine whether she was legally sane. I wanted to help this young woman. Believe me, I did. Dr. Livingston, I presume. I'm Mother Miriam Ruth, in charge of the convent where Sister Agnes is staying. How do you do? You needn't call me Mother if you don't wish. Thank you. Most people find it most uncomfortable. Well. Or it is the most unpleasant connotation on things these days. Yes. Sometimes it forces a familiarity that most people are not willing to accept right off the bat. So you may call me sister. I bought Sister Agnes for her appointment. They're allowing her to stay at the convent yes, until the trial. Yes, I know. I just wanted to offer my help. Well, thank you, sister, but I haven't even met Sister Agnes yet. If there's anything unclear after our speech, well, you I must know. have a ton of questions. I do. But I'd like to ask them of Agnes. Oh, she can't help you there. What do you mean? She's forgotten it. Blocked it out. I'm the only one that would be able to answer those questions. Well, how well do you know her? Oh, I know Sister Agnes very well. You see, we're a contemplative order. Not, well, what I'm saying is our ranks are very small. <clears throat> I was chosen as Mother Superior about four years ago, and she came to be with us after that. So as you can see, I am more than qualified to answer any questions that you might have. Do you mind not smoking? Mm, yes. I should have asked if it bothered you. Never offer an alcoholic a drink. Isn't that what they say? You were a smoker? Oh, two packs a day. Well, I could beat that, sister. Lucky strikes. <laughs> you know, my sister once said that if there's one thing that you can depend on in this crazy world, it is the honesty of an unfiltered cigarette smoker. You have a smart sister. And you have questions. By the way. Who knew about Agnes's purpose? No one. How did she hide it from the other nuns? She bathed alone, she changed alone. Is that normal? Yes. How did she hide it during the day? You could hide a machine gun under here if you wanted. She had no physical examinations during this time? We're examined once a year, and her pregnancy fell in between our doctor visits. Who found the baby? I did. I'd allow her to retur retire early that evening. She wasn't feeling very well. And a short while after that, I went up to her room. The nuns have separate rooms. Yes. It was then that I found her unconscious on the floor. I tried to revive her, but when I couldn't, I asked the other sister to call an ambulance. That's when I found the waste paper basket. Found? Yes, it was hidden under the bed by the wall. Why did you think to look there? I was cleaning. There was a lot of blood. You were when you found it. No, there was another sister, um, Sister Margaret. It was she who called the police. Did you find a diary? Letters? I don't understand. Something to clue you in on the identity of the father. Oh, no, I found nothing. Who could it have been? I hadn't a clue. What men had access to him? None that I know of. Was there a doctor? 
Yes. A man. Yes. Was there a priest? Of course. But the, What's his name? Father Marshall. But you couldn't have him as a candidate. He's very shy. Could there have been anyone else? Well, obviously there was. But then why did you care to find out who? I cared very much at the time. I did everything I could besides ask Sister Agnes myself. And even why still. Why didn't you ask her? If she didn't admit to the birth, do you actually think she would admit to the conception? Besides, I don't know what this has to do with her. Come on, sister. The important fact is that someone gave her that baby doctor. That we know. That was over 12 months ago, and I really failed to understand what that has to do with the trial. Why do you think that? Don't ask me those questions. I'm not the patient. But I'm the doctor. I'm the one who decides what is and what is important to you. Yes. Then why are you avoiding my question? I'm not. Who was the father? I don't know. I'd like to see her now. Doctor. I don't know how to put this politely, but I don't approve of you. Not of you personally, but... Science and psychiatry. Yes. I want you to deal with Agnes as quickly and speedily as possible. She's very fragile and she won't stand up under any kind of cross-examination. Sister, I'm not with the Inquisition. And I'm not from the Middle Ages. I know what you are. You're a surgeon. And I don't want that mind cut open. Is there something in there you don't want me to see? I just you? want you to be careful, that's all. Quick. Yes. Why? Because she's different. From other nuns. I can see that. From other people. She's special. In what way? She's gifted. She's blessed. What do you mean? Thank you. 